Operation Blue Wave started back in January. And one of the first things we did is that we helped We You trend on Twitter when Reggie appeared on Spike TV's coverage of Consumer Electronics Show 2012. Then we use the PlayStation Vita launch as an opportunity to send a message to out-of-touch CEOs that they're not going to advance the prospects of their system by making it fashionable to make personal attacks against Nintendo gamers. We partnered with Street Pass NYC to do that one. And then we, uh, we had hoped to uh, hopefully help Wii U trend uh, during, during Game Developer Conference 2012, but the conference uh, was not run in the way that earlier ones were, so that idea really wasn't, uh, it wasn't conducive to that idea anymore. And now, and I've been waiting ever since, I've been hoping this would happen, and now it's come to happen that the things are lined up now for Operation Blue Wave to fulfill the primary purpose for its existence as I originally envisioned it when I was planning this back late last year. Nintendo's issued a press release announcing Spike TV and MTV2, but most importantly Spike TV, as the official television broadcaster of their E3 2012 Nintendo All Access presentation, in which the their Wii U and their new console will be fully revealed directly to the public, directly to the network that was used in previous years to address the Xbox uh, user base for their for Microsoft's E3 presentations. Nintendo has moved directly into Microsoft's usual turf on Spike TV, and the message is clear that with Nintendo partnering with Spike TV to get E3 itself on the screens of the mainstream mass market on Spike TV of all networks, that this is not going to be your grandmother's game system. And with this new partnership, Operation Blue Wave is ready to really... This is, this is the big operation. This is the big mass action I was hoping that we'd get to uh, participate in. We are going... Our, the Operation Blue Wave's next mission, possibly its biggest mission ever, is going to be to spread the word of this and give this the, a massive grassroots signal boost. We're going to do that on Facebook, where we have 800-something uh, people already on board. We're going to do that on Twitter. We have uh, close to 300, I believe. We need all you, a lot of you guys that are on Facebook that aren't on Twitter yet on, for Operation Blue Wave. Get on Twitter. Twitter is the front lines of this next mission. I know some of you, you don't have to get into it. You don't have to be, become a regular Twitter user. Just make an account. It takes less than two minutes to make an account on Twitter. Follow Operation Blue Wave. And you're, we're going to use that, if you're not familiar with Twitter, there's a list of things called the trending topics. These are what the most people at any one time are talking about. When a celebrity dies, for instance, that'll trend, or when celebrities make news, or when a new movie comes out, or when someone just wants to, you know, just some jokes people are participating in. That all gets on the trending topics, and millions of people see this. For instance, uh, when Sony wanted to launch the PS... Like, when Nintendo launched the 3DS, they promoted the hashtag no glasses required and so millions of people saw no glasses required and then clicked that and then saw that oh like there's this new system coming out and so but it th these things could be made to tw to trend organically as well like when Reggie appeared on Spike TV for Consumer Electronics Show talking about Wii U for a few minutes Wii U appeared on the trending topics on Twitter so millions of people s were exposed to Wii U but for Nintendo Direct, the one they did right when the PlayStation Vita launched in the U.S., Nint like when Nintendo announced all like Dylan's Rolling Western and so forth, and Kid Icarus Uprising, those all trended globally because so many people were interested in those games. And Blue Wave is going to do, we're going to use hashtags. These are tags people click on, and whenever people see those, they can click on it and see what everyone else is talking about that. We're going to use that to spread, to give a signal boost to... Spike TV's broadcast of the of the of the Nintendo All Access presentation, where hopefully we're going. I'm going to try to direct people, act as sort of an air traffic controller, sort of like a you know a, a director in a flash mob. Hopefully to get this trending at least a couple of times, at least throughout the U.S. If probably mainly just the U.S., but you know 
we're going to try to get this trending on Twitter at least a couple of times. And even if we don't actually get it on the trending topics, it's going to uh, a mass action of people tweeting about this. It's going to spread the word rapidly, so, sort of like, you know, one person, then it's going to branch out and it's going to spread the word. Spike TV, back in it for Consumer Electronics Show, they retweeted us. They, they've favorited our tweets. And already, when I'm announcing uh, Operation Blue Wave's initiative to get the word about, out about uh, Spike TV's uh, live broadcast on, on mainstream cable TV of Nintendo's E3 presentation, they've already favorited one of, one of Operation Blue Wave's tweets about that. This Operation Blue Wave is wa I mean, uh, Spike TV is watching this. Nintendo of America is surely paying attention to this. This is a big deal. This is what Operation Blue Wave is all about. And if all the, anyone from any other fandom can, can organize and, and get, get something trending, we, whenever they want, we could do it just this one time between now, between now and the day of Nintendo's E3 presentation and during Nintendo's E3 presentation. We can make this happen. Get the word out. We need more people on board Twitter. We need a lot of you guys on Facebook. You, you're doing great on Facebook. Facebook is the, the main platform for spreading word about Operation Blue Wave, aside from YouTube. But a lot of you guys on Facebook, we, for this big mission, we need you guys on Twitter. It's not hard. Just go ahead and do it. And keep an eye on uh, us on Facebook and on Twitter. On my, and we're going to work with as many people as I can get on board with us station on Spike TV. You're going to hear more details about this in the future. This is the big operation. This is uh, we're gonna have a ton of fun with this, and this this is what it's all about. So there are gonna be more videos about this in the future. There are gonna be specific plans in the future, specific meeting times, and you're gonna want to keep an eye on Twitter because we're probably one of the things we're probably going to try to do is to. Uh, piggyback onto other trending topics and when there's a really opportune one we could take advantage of to us to help us signal boost this we we could do that but you would it, it could happen at a moment's notice we're going to have probably a couple of designated hours where we're going to try to make it happen manually regardless of whatever's going on but they could be opportunities at any moment to try to make this happen so you're going to want to keep an eye on twitter for you know because twitter is a really good platform for on for real time stuff and if you don't know what twitter is basically it lets you post instant messages to a web page and that that are shared like uh sort of communally with other twitter users that's basically all the twitter is so you're going to hear more about this big operation soon thanks for watching and this is just the beginning you're going to hear a lot more in the future as i've said repeatedly so that's it for now Thanks for watching. If you're new to Operation Blue Wave, welcome. If you've been on board with us since January or even just you know yesterday, w welcome. Thanks for your support. And this is not this is I started it, but it, this isn't about me. This isn't just something I'm doing. This is about the community and the group as a whole. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.